everybody, it's me, Madeline, and thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so glad that you decided to stop by because I have redone this intro like a thousand times and I wanted to get it perfect just for you. <laughs> All kidding aside, um, I upload on Tuesdays and Fridays. On Tuesdays, we do a weigh-in as I transition from VSG weight loss surgery to ESG weight loss procedure. And then on Fridays, I do fitness, food, and fun, and other aspects of my life and of weight loss. So please like, share, and subscribe to this channel and tell everyone you know that might be interested in weight loss and my journey and my process. As I told you last Tuesday, I wanted to always open with a scripture to give God the glory for this channel. And the scripture that I'm coming with today is Psalms 91 verses 1 through 2. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. And that's what we need today in these times, to trust in God, to believe in Him and trust in Him. Alrighty, well, let's keep going. And I wanted to share with you my stats. Um, I, I know on my reintroduction video, I went over some of my stats, but I'm gonna go through and share my stats again, and just to get you caught up if you're new here. Um, and I am looking down at my notes just uh, because I don't want to forget anything because like I said, I've already done the intro like a million times So I don't want to forget anything in this time this time. Okay, so my original stats back in 2013 Yes, 2013 I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery weight loss surgery my highest weight recorded prior to surgery was 256 pounds and excuse the beeping, my air fryer just went off because I'm doing my wifely duties and cooking for my husband. Okay, back to my stats. Alrighty, so in October of 2013, prior to weight loss surgery, I weighed 256 pounds. I lost about 129 pounds um, through weight loss surgery in about a year, maybe a year and a half, I'm not quite certain, but um, I believe I was at 100 pounds by a year, so the extra probably came off in the, uh, in the following six months. So let's say approximately 13, 14, maybe fifth, in the, uh, like July, of 2000, June, July of 2015, I was sitting pleasantly and comfortably at about 125 to 127. And I am five foot tall, so I wasn't like super slim. Super slim for me, but I was not, you know, I am five foot tall, so I'm, I'm short. So 125 looks, oh, you know, average for me. But anyway, Moving right along. So I maintained that for about six years. And then when the pandemic hit um, through, not necessarily the pandemic itself, even though they talk about that, that COVID weight, but uh, just through some issues, medical issues and physical issues, I started putting on weight and uh, I went from about 127 to 153, so I gained almost 30 pounds in there. And then on um, December 4th of 2021, I had the v, uh, ESG revision, surge, uh, revision procedure. That's the endoscopic, endoscopic sleeve revision surgery not surgery, I'm sorry, it's not a surgery, it's a procedure because they go through your throat, it's not a surgery. They don't cut you open, they go through your throat. And uh, I had that done in Cary, North Carolina with Dr. McGowan. I had my original VSG in Houston, which is close to where I live, and it was with Dr. Hollis. So, 
uh, again, my revision was in Cary, North Carolina, th flew out there, had the, the, re the procedure done, stayed overnight, checked back in, um, and he checked me out, get, I stayed in Cary that following day after the procedure and left on Monday. So, sort of, that, that process to me, sort of seemed like what you would do when you do weight loss surgery in Mexico, where they have you fly in, you have the procedure, you get your testing and all blah, blah, blah. And then they put you up in the hotel for a few days so they can monitor you and then you fly home. That was similar. And actually, uh, I'm glad that I did find that in the States because I was looking at Mexico, but they didn't seem to have uh, doctors that were skilled in like revisions to sleeves. The revision that they wanted to do to a sleeve was to do a mini uh, gastric bypass and I didn't want that because I hadn't gained that much weight. I just needed more restriction in the sleeve that I had and they were able in, um, doc in True You Weight Loss, they were able to um, give me a little bit more restriction, tighten the sleeve that I had in certain areas and then give me a little bit more restriction. So today I am, I think, four weeks out, I want to say, five weeks. Must be, it has to be five weeks because uh, I had it on the fourth and last week was the fourth, so it must be five weeks that I'm out. And I did a weigh-in this morning, and I will insert weigh-in picture right here. Well, I was really ecstatic when I saw that number this morning. I weighed in on December 4th at, at True You Weight Loss in uh, Cary, North Carolina at 153.3. And this morning I was 133.8 and that's a 19.5 pound loss. So I was really excited to see that and I'm really excited because I'm starting to fit into some of my old clothes, which, you know, uh, I had when I probably about at the four, maybe five year mark of my VSG surgery, I finally did the closet purge and got rid of all of my old clothes. And I looked through my closet this weekend and I realized I still had clothes that had uh, tags on them. And so, you know, I couldn't wear them because I wasn't fitting. And most of my weight, if I stand up real quick, I don't know if you can tell down here, but most of my weight I carry right here in the middle. And I've always been like that. I've always carried my weight in the midsection, or actually in the, the lower mid, the lower middle, lower abdomen section, my food pump. I know, learned that's called lately. And, um, you know, even when I was younger, that's where my weight would fall. And then, um, well, I had a child and it didn't go away. It just became worse. And so uh, just... Most of the clothes that I had in my closet prior to this procedure, I wasn't able to wear because it wouldn't fit my midsection. And now I'm getting back into some of those clothes. This, this um, sweater that I have on today is actually my daughter's sweater. It was a hand-me-down. Uh, she didn't like it anymore. I think it's cute. But anyway, she didn't like it anymore, so I took it from her, and it's a small. Because I, I put it on this morning, I'm like, man, this... You know, I knew it was a small, theoretically, but the way I like my clothes to fit, I then I realized, hey, she gave me this. This is one of her hand-me-downs. So um, this is a small. And then the skirt actually uh, was so was tight at one time that it really did accentuate my and show off my belly. So um, saying all that to say that you know one day if I do have another procedure I do hope to have a tummy tuck and I'm probably thinking about going to Mexico to do that because you know I've been following some sur um, surgeons 
who deal with weight loss patients on Instagram and um, on Facebook, and they have seem to have some pretty good results for a nominal, for a reasonable price, I guess I should say, much more reasonable than here in the States. Um, when I went to North Carolina, um, it seemed like that was what, uh, it was the kind of setup that they do similar to Mexico. Like they, you go, you fly in, you have your procedure, you stay a few days and then you come back, you know, you fly back home and that's the way they do in Mexico. And then this procedure also had an all-inclusive price and um, that sort of thing, which I talked about, I think in last week's video. Um, let's see, let's see. Well, um, right now I am on the soft food phase and do not tell my doctor or my nutritionist, but I snuck and had some cashews. But I did chew them up really, really fine to where they were just liquidy, um, liquid in my mouth and um, similar to the vitamins when you chew up the the vitamins, the uh, the berry melts. In fact, I've got to show you guys the, the vitamins that I'm taking. But, um, so I chewed it up really, really fine, but don't tell him, don't tell him, let this be our secret. Ah! I am uh, on the second week though, it's during the second week of the um, soft food phase. So this Friday, this Saturday, I should be transitioning back to regular foods and just introducing them slowly back into my diet. I have been doing very well with, uh, for the most part, because I've been doing a lot of beans. Uh, I've been doing a lot of Instant Pot recipes. On my channel one time I did the, uh, I highlighted the um, tofu chili and that was really good. So if you have not uh, seen the sweet potato soul video go back to my other fitness food and fun Friday episode 2 I believe it is and get that link because that was the bomb and like I said my husband even enjoyed it and he um, he's not really uh, into vegetables and beans and veg being a vegetarian or anything so um, that's going well I did some instant uh, some Instant Pot chickpeas, some chickpeas in the Instant Pot, and those were delicious. I had those for lunch today. I have a big bowl of them. I added farro, farro to them, the grain farro to them, and it was really good, really, really good. And um, I have made some golden milk, and that's, you know, doable. We'll have to play around with that recipe, but when I perfect it, I'll, I'll bring it to y'all. Uh, but other than that, everything's going really, really well as far as that. Hopefully the transition to regular foods would be, will be okay. Um, I'm doing better about eating. Drinking is good, but making sure since I'm waiting the 30 minutes, bef uh, waiting 30 minutes before I eat, I stop drinking 30 minutes before I eat and don't start drinking till 30 minutes after I eat, I have to really time my water. And I've been trying to get most of my fluids in in the mornings and on my drive home from work, that's a good time for me to do it because I have probably about a 30 minute drive home from work. And so I try to do it on my drive home from work to at least get a bottle of water down. And I, then I try to do a bottle in the evening. So I try, my goal is a gallon. But so far, I'm not hitting my goal, but I am increasing, inching that way. So uh, I'm pleased with that. I'm still going to um, try a little bit more to make sure that I hit that goal. Uh, but food's been good. I should have another nutritionist appointment uh, sometime, probably next week, I think, because I do transition to regular foods. And next week, so we should be checking in to see um, 
And let me go get my vitamins really quickly. Hang on, hang on. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. All righty. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here are the vitamins that I'm taking. The Berry Melts Multivitamin with iron. And then just the Berry Melts Iron plus the vitamin C. So I do have issues with iron, so that's why I'm taking one with iron and then the iron supplement as well. So um, these are actually not horrible, not bad. They're not good, but they're not bad either. I mean, they're very, very manageable, but I don't plan to really stay on these uh, more than a month when I start doing regular foods and I run out of these, I'm going to switch back to my just daily multivitamin um, equate from Walmart multivitamin, which are similar to the Centrum for uh, people 50 plus. Because even though I don't look like it, I am in my 50s. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I won't stay on these very long. I'm just going to use them till they run out. I just needed a vitamin to take uh, while I was transitioning. So that's that. Let's see what else. I think that might be it, but please, I do thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me for this chit chat today, and please join me on Friday for fitness, food, and fun, and you'll see what I'm doing for weight loss in the other areas of my life, in the fitness area, in the food area, and in the fun area, because you got to live a little, you got to enjoy yourself some, right? Right. And again, please do like, comment, subscribe, and share this channel with anybody you know who's interested in weight loss and interested in what we're talking about here. Bye. See you next week. Oh, not next week. Not next week. We'll see you Friday. We'll see you Friday for Fitness, Food, and Fun. And then we'll see you next Tuesday for another weigh-in and sit-down chit-chat. Bye. Bye.